consider if everybody's time that's here on time, so we'll get started on time. Um, my name is Robert Queen. I volunteered to help moderate the meeting. I'm not professional at this, and it'll take you about 30 seconds to figure that out. But uh, I'm one of y'all. I'm a concerned uh, parent and taxpayer from down in the Crest District. So I guess for full disclosure, I am a Crest alumni, but uh, I guess Crest and Burke are kind of like kissing cousins now that we've merged our school system. So we're I feel like we're on the same side now instead of uh, uh, opposition. So I'll leave that right there. That's my only uh, editorial for tonight, maybe, or for right now. Uh, before we start, uh, I could ask Miss Davis if you would uh, have a quick prayer for us. Thank you. I'm George Davis. I'm on the Lafayette County Council, and I'm so glad to see all this crowd out tonight. Our mayor is Rick Garber. He's here. He's going to go he wants to say anything well, well, Thank you all for coming. It's good to see this many parents interested in what's going on in our schools. I'm a former member of the school board back in the 90s, so I you know what these folks say to me. That's all about our heads, please. So, Father, thank you so much for allowing us to be able to come together tonight to discuss our problems with our schools. And thank you, Lord, for letting so many interested parents come out. Be with all of us tonight as we try to get some matters settled or we give our opinions about what we need in the schools. Help us to understand that we need to be very careful about what we say and how we say it. Now go with the serious need and bless all of us that are here for we ask in thy name. Amen. Amen. I do have some guidelines I'd like to go over uh, before we get started just to kind of keep, you know, I don't expect any problems. <coughs> you guys look like a good group and all that, but uh, this is what we did at our early uh, time hall meeting, so just so we're all on the same page and kind of know where we're headed. Um, this town hall meeting was organized by Concerned Citizens. Uh, it's not sponsored by the Cleveland County School Board of Education. Uh, any political party group, any business group or any religious organization. Um, we're having this to provide a forum for teachers, students, parents, administrators, and the general public to express their praises and concerns regarding Blue County Schools. Uh, minutes will be taken and a final report written and consolidate all comments and we'll forward that on to the school board, uh, school board and superintendent. And the, the overall goal of all of this is to improve the educational environment for the students and the working environment for our teachers. Um, if you're interested in making some comments tonight, we do have a sign-in sheet. Uh, I think we've got five or six on there right now. Uh, anybody else like to sign up if I can pass the clipboard? <laughs> Just that, pass that around and anyone else that would like to sign up, do that and we'll just do it in order that you signed up. Um, at the last town hall we did three minutes time. That seemed to be a little bit short for folks, so we'll do four minutes tonight. I do have a timer on my iPad. I'm just got a big, gonna make a big red circle for four minutes. And it'll dingling at you when it gets to four minutes. So <coughs> So I don't have to be the bad guy and ask you to sit down. Please, when it's in the lane, just you know, wrap up and go ahead and sit down. When when the other folks have a chance to speak, if you want more time, we'll sit down too. So we want you to have a chance to speak, but we want everyone to have a chance to speak. Um, let's see. We ask you to use the microphone up here. I don't like talking in this microphone any more than, than you guys, but we do have someone that's uh, videotaping and that will help their sound so that uh, those who couldn't be here tonight can see what went on. And the high sheriff just walked in, so y'all will have to be here. <laughs> You're, you're uh, allowed to speak on anything that's important to you, whether that be a, a praise report or something that's going good that you just want to tell the group about. Um, you have some ideas of things that we could do better in the school system. 
Meryl Wright. That's me. Can we, can we can I sit back here? That would make me feel more comfortable. <laughs> can you pick it up on the chair?
just got this email from a Thomas Jefferson parent, so I would say that the Burns parents weren't necessarily notified. <laughs> I found this out from a friend of a friend of a friend, and they don't even have kids in the Burns district, so. It's, it's a simple town hall meeting where the community, community can speak out on anything with the Cleveland County School System. Well, well the email was worded as something that happened at recently at a Burns event. Sending a clipboard back to uh, so that I don't have to read all of these at one time. I think I'll read every other speaker and read one of the anonymous letters, and that way, there we go. Save my voice. Um, before I do that, I'll take uh, privilege as moderator. Um, I appreciate what you said about representation on the board, and I've discussed that with, with several folks. Um, now, don't shoot the messenger, but I want to challenge you. There's an election next year, and there's five seats up. If you guys don't see <laughs> anybody online, you're not going to get any more representation. You let me see that. Is, is that a fair statement? I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes, but I, it's just that simple. You're going to have to, you guys, the Burns Zone needs to have some folks running for school board. Say something on that. When we look, okay, when you look at the map of our area, we represent a quarter of the students in North, I mean, in, in Cleveland County. But there's more people in Kings Mountain. So how other counties do it is they put people, like you would vote in your area. And you would vote, there's no way. I've added all the populations from Cater, Coquel, Mondale, and Austin together. There's no way that number can map, can top a Kings Mountain vote. So it has to be set up in a way that is maybe fair and you would run for your zone. Well, the and way I've looked at it, there, there's nine board seats, there's four zones. So you have two from each zone and one at large. That's as simple as I It should have been like that for merger. It would have made sense. Yes. But yeah, it didn't. If you look at the demographics on the votes, there's only about 10%, 10 to 12 percent of the people voted for the school board last year. Mm -hmm. So if Burns would have turned out, they could have elected all every one if they would have had but they would have had it. Before we get too far down that track, I did have that as one of the questions to ask at the end, and we may discuss more at the end. I don't want to, I don't want to get lost. Okay. So my understanding is that's an election issue. That's not a school board issue. The school board can't determine, oh, well, let's just split it up into four zones. That's an election issue. That's not, we're not going to solve that tonight. The school board has no say in that matter. Uh, just, Actually, it's a policy. Yeah. I've got an example of a county. I think that's a board policy. Yeah. It's a board policy issue. Yeah. Does it have to go before the election? Uh, you would probably have to work as a partner with that, but I've got an example of a county that changed their board policy because of that. Okay. And it may be state level as part of the board charge. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, I think that's where it comes from. We would have to go to Tim Moore, Kelly Hastings, that group, and have them change the board charter. Exactly. <laughs>
been this low and we may never recover if something is not done to stop this. We have been down before and we, and we thought we'd never come back, but this is a different kind of low. Teachers are not happy but won't speak up. Students aren't happy but not sure what to do. But nobody cares, so what do we do? I pride myself on being a part of a wonderful family in Burns High School, but right now I don't even want to come to school in the mornings. But I will say it again, what can we do? Who cares? Nobody evidently because the parents have complained and students are talking and nobody listens. Do we let Burns High School go completely under or is, it, or is someone going to take control and do something about this before it's too late? We need help now. We need new leaders. We need someone who will listen to us and make us believe in them because we know they care. We lost 23 teachers and staff. Are we going to continue this pace before we get help at Burns High School? Or do we wait till we go on? The whole community is laughing and thinks we all are just country dicks now. We sure are proving them right. Nobody attends sports events. What does that say? Our football stadium used to be full of people even standing up because of no seats. Not anymore. When do we get some help before it's too late? Just saying, someone who cares more than anyone knows.
And that's where we all need to be. If the, if the, if the ballot box voted for our candidates, then we need to encourage people to run. Ms. Wright, I hope you run. I hope up <laughs> in here tonight run for office. And let me tell you, I'll vote for you. I vote every time. I've never missed an election my whole life. And I'm getting pretty old. I don't intend to ever miss one until I can't go anymore. And I hope everybody in here becomes politically active. Look at the candidates. Run for office. If you want to make a change, think about running for office. I don't know what the filing fee is for school boards. What is it, then? Twenty dollars. If anybody wants to run, I'll pay your filing fee. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a change. We need to take a chance. We just need to turn out and know who our candidates are. Again, I see John Briggs coming. Alan Roman's here. These folks need to be reelected. Dan needs to be reelected. Donnie, I'm working on him. I'm trying to get him. I'll sleep on that one. Okay. I appreciate it. He's not up next year, so we don't have to worry. We got him in place right now. All we have to do is, is convince him of the change we need to make. So, that's all I have to say.
then once it starts coming out, they want to seal it up, go back to work, and then try to steal some more. I don't think so, not on my watch. The best interest of Cleveland County is to get rid of these thieves. They should be immediately fired and prosecuted in a court of law. But you see, that brings us back to seven days of massive shredded documents and many dumpsters full of bags of shredded documents. I believe they have found out that they couldn't go back and shred all of the bank records on the cards. So there is plenty of enough evidence, for Mr. and Mrs. School Board, to fire these crooks. Why, why have you not done so? You are afraid of the scandal. You don't want it on all the TV news stations. Or could it possibly implicate someone I don't know about? Someone on the school board. I know about the seven or so heat and air conditioning units someone purchased with Cleveland County school money and installed in personal residences. Seems like one went to a member of the school board's house. Seems like another went to a retired director of the old Kings Mountain School Board. So I got I got through one page. Wow. <laughs> you to think the problem was way down low and the whole time the problem was right at the top in plain sight. Those making the most money were committing the crime. They thought they were better than everybody else. They actually thought they could fully manipulate the data. They failed. This story can go on indefinitely. Uh, I, I'll give you nine things, school board, that you need to look into for the best interest of Cleveland County Schools. Number one, uh, why did the superintendent authorize an executive director of human resources and our assistant superintendent of operations, our director of financial operations, and our administrative technology person to shred many, many, many documents at our service center for seven days? Why did the school board not question the abundant receipts that were lost when the bank reproduced many, if not all of them? Why does 
this particular person get a $28,000 supplement, one of the highest in our supplement for anyone else in the school system is $6,000 or less, and 95% of those are greatly less than $6,000. How can anybody in finance, <coughs> they didn't sign off on all the financial reports, receipts, and bills, everyone on the inside knows that a minimum of three people to sign off on everything. Uh, <coughs> Where's your financial responsibility? Just what is your job? Five, how do you justify the um, director of maintenance purchasing seven residential heat pumps? Uh, number six, how come everybody that makes over 75,000 a year in Cleveland County Schools attends a particular church? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finish those nine things and then that's it. Um, number seven, how can a particular, uh, that was, uh, it was again questioning why somebody had a, had a job. Um, number eight, again that gets kind of personal. Um, now, how, how do you as a school board think of Cleveland County Schools can even remotely think of moving forward when we are dragging <coughs> all of this garbage around? Let's, um, let's see what's going on.
Yes, I'm proud to say I'm a member of the faculty at Burns High School, a school where we have had memorable service from one of our own, a memorial, excuse me, a memorial service for one of our own this summer when we leave or die and we fed his family afterwards. A school where thousands of cards were written and sent to a young man who was dying because he loved to look at cards. A school made up of a faculty that is like a family and they come together to meet the needs of whoever. A school where I've heard the administration say time and time before making the decision, how would that, or how would I want it done if, my, if that were my child? Yes, I'm blessed to be a teacher at Burns High School. Did I say that right? <coughs> 